Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my, as you can tell from the title, ha 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 ha, my iPhone case collection. And this video is requested by Insane Blondes 105. Thank you, girl. I'm going to be showing you basically all of my phone cases and iPod cases and everything I've had over the years. Um, I do have a lot of iPhone cases um, more than any other iPod or phone because, you know, I just love my phone. Warning right now, this is going to be kind of short because I don't have like a million cases, like a lot, like X Cherry Boom 7X, I just watched her, um, her iPhone case collection, I was like, holy crap, girl, you got so many cases. And that's just her, I guess. She just really likes iPhone cases. No hate. I love her. Nicole. Mwah. Um, <laughs> and also, I would like to point out that I do like to buy iPhone cases, just like Nicole does. But my thing now is that since the iPhone 5 is out now, I don't really want to spend a lot of my money on it because I just don't want to have like a ton of iPhone 4S cases and then you know have get the iPhone 5 and then I have to do away with, with all the cases so yeah that's basically what my mind stands right now so I will not be purchasing any more cases um I might be purchasing one more though this Hello Kitty one um I will show you guys what it looks like when it comes um if I do decide to purchase it. first I'm going to start with my very old cases I've had since the beginning of time basically this is my old cell phone case, I don't know the name of the brand, but I know that I got it at Walmart like a good, I want to say, six, seven years ago. And it just kind of looked like Louis Vuitton to me, that's why I wanted it. And it was back in the day when I had a flip phone, track phone, and I carried it in here. There's a belt loop on the back, and there's things right here you can, um, it came with straps, you can hang it like on your purse, or like wear it as a purse, or whatever. Next is this phone case, which I actually got at Claire's. Um, at the time, I had my Virgin Mobile Wildcard phone, if you guys remember those. Um, I Before I even had Verizon, I had Virgin Mobile, so and it fit perfectly in here, so I decided to buy it. This was at Claire's around, I want to say, four or five years ago, so I'm not sure if you could find this now, but I'm sure if you like type it in Amazon or something, you could find something similar. Um, it was just the perfect size, and I loved it, and I just carried my phone in it, especially in my purse, because... Um, my purse, I always had big purses and it would, you know, get smashed around there. And there's a little button clasp. I can't button it though because I'm using one hand. Let's see? And inside it's like perfect. Like, oh my god. I love this case though. It's so cute. Um, I'm really sad I can't really use it anymore because I don't have a wild card. Next case is an iPod case I've had and I also bought from Claire's. Because um, as you can see, this is for the um, third generation um, iPod Nano video. Um, when it first got video and I have my Nano right over here. But um, I just took this off to show you. It's very glittery. The one thing I don't like about it, though, is that obviously it's really cheaply made. Um, I remember paying like 5 or $10 for this, same with my other phone case. And as you can see over the years, this is just starting to come off. And the sparkles are kind of starting to. And same on the back. Like, I'll show you. Like, I can just stick my nail under there and just start prying it off. But um, that's just from years and years of wear and tear. So, But it's really sparkly and it's pink and it's pretty. And I used to get so many compliments on this case. And I still do when I bring my iPod around. As you guys know, um, I have the third generation iPod Touch, but my sister uses it. And I had a case similar to it that looked like this, but um, it was all rigid on the back and it was called an in I think it was called in case. I'm not sure. Um, I got it at the Apple store. It was like 20 bucks, which I never recommend buying a case that's 20 bucks unless it's a really good case. Um, so that kind of got destroyed and then I had a clear one but it was my ex's so when I was with my ex I was using it but when we broke up obviously I gave it back because why the hell would I want to keep it um yeah um so as you guys know I have the fourth generation with the camera and I just have this um silicone case I got off of Amazon for like two bucks because I had a different case um that was kind of like you open it up and there's the case and then it had like a couple pockets you could keep ID cards in. My sister uses it um, for her iPod so I bought one for myself when I, because um, I was getting kind of sick of it. The thing that was with the case that my sister's using now, which I'm sorry I can't show you right now, <laughs> you'll probably see it in one of my sister's videos, but um, because 
I had ordered that and I didn't get it for almost a month and a half. It was all the way literally from China and I was like, what the hell? So <laughs> I didn't see that when I bought it off of, um, I didn't buy it on Amazon, I bought it on eBay, which I don't recommend. I don't like buying stuff off of eBay, so I just don't, I just buy stuff off, off of Amazon. I feel like it's more credible, but besides that, I got this one and it's, I use this one on my iPod Touch right now. And I love it, and it's just nice and silicone-y. The other one I had, I have, is also for that same iPod Touch, um, the fourth generation. I, like I said, I before I got this one, I had this one. I bought this one from Walmart for twenty bucks. Again, I recommend never buying a case for twenty bucks unless it's a really good quality case. Um, the brand of this is a Griffin case, and I do love it. I really do. But the problem was with this case is, as you can see from the top right there, like right there in that little. Um, I don't know if you can see it that well. My camera doesn't like to focus. But it's really like rigid and worn down. And the reason for that was because um, I have a John Cena cover on the back of my um, iPod Touch. So when I would put it on, like it would get stuck on this. Like this would make my iPod too thick for, the, for this case. So um, I ended up having to pry the case off when I got a new one so it was really bad and I ended up messing up the top right here of my iPod too but then again look at the whole thing it's smashed so it doesn't really matter now we're on to phone cases these two phone cases go to the um, chocolate touch you guys know I had that phone before my 4s and um, I will at first I was a fan but I wasn't really a big fan of it after a while this is the case that I got with it when I got my chocolate touch um, it's supposed to be pink, but I don't know if the color faded or Verizon just puts out really crappy cases. Again, never buy a case that's $20 unless it's good quality or um, you know that's the only case you're ever going to use in your life. Because Verizon raises their case prices through the roof. You don't even know. Um, this was like $20, which I, I don't recommend. But it is a nice case, so it is like squishy and silicone-y kind of, rubbery. Um, and it has protected my phone, but then after a while, I was like, this color is ugly. I want a new case. So, with that further ado, I went on Amazon, and I got this zebra, purple zebra case for my chocolate touch when I had it. And I loved this case. Oh my god, and I still do. It's so pretty. And as you can see, it's taken a lot of chips and a lot of, you know, falls and whatnot, but it is so pretty, and I love it. I think I actually got this on eBay, actually. I think I did quite sure because I thought the color was going to be a lot darker and when it came it was kind of see-through and I was like oh okay whatever but um just a little disappointment but besides that I love this case it really protected my phone and I just it's so cute and pretty and I love zebra print I iPhone cases oh First of all, I will say the Victoria's Secret pink case is not on my phone right now. I actually took that off and it's hanging on my wall over there and I will show you a clip right now. As you can see, I decided to hang it on my wall for decoration. The reason I decided to hang my Victoria's Secret pink one on my wall was because it was really stretched out around my phone and it would just fall off my phone so easily whenever I picked it up even. So I was like, okay, I need to switch it but I will keep it as a decoration. So I decided to hang it on my wall with all of my Victoria's Secret pink um, pictures and stuff just for decoration. I am excited for the next one. I hope they do improve them, but besides that, I was like, uh, over it. So right now, this is the case that I have on my phone now. Um, I don't know the brand of this, but if you go on, um, Amazon, I know if you search iPhone 4S pink case, um, this might pop up, and they have all different colors. I got this one in pink because it was, it feels really rigidy inside, and it, I just love it because the back of it makes it look like diamonds when it has when it's on your phone. It's just so pretty. And it's, again, it's like rubbery and it protects your phone really, 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 really well. I love this case so much. The next case, this was the first iPhone case I bought. This is my, this one doesn't have a brand again, but like I said, you go on Amazon, search um, Pink Zebra case, you could find this. Um, I got this for my 4S when I first got my phone and as you can see, it's taken a lot of falls and a lot of damage and all that nice stuff <laughs> but I do love this case um oh this case was around like four bucks by the way <laughs> all my cases are pretty much cheap 
This one, I think, was around four or five bucks. It was really, really pretty, and I was like, and it looked a lot like a lighter pink when I saw it online. So when I got it, it was like, oh, it's kind of dark, but I didn't really care. This Hello Kitty rubbery silicone case, I actually got this from Paper Pastel's website um, when her store was up. Like I said, my Hello Kitty collection. This was the only color they had left. It's pink. It says Hello Kitty on the back with a little bow. And if you could search this on Amazon, they do have this. I think they have one in black. I saw one in black this morning because I was searching Hello Kitty cases, so. So, um, I do like this case, but I just don't like how it kind of covers the bottom and it kind of distracts me when I'm texting, like right here. But besides that, it's really, really cute and I just think this is so adorable. So cute. Finally, my last iPhone case, oh my goodness, is my OtterBox. Yes, I have an OtterBox. I love this case so much. It protects my phone like, oh my god, like I've dropped it. I've freaking, it's gotten lost in my purse and all that time. It never, ever, ever smashed or got broken or anything. I love OtterBox. Oh my god. However, this was around $50. <laughs> So, yeah, I, like I said, unless it's a good quality case, don't spend the money. But this is a good quality case, and I did want one. Um, actually, I have been eyeing one of these for a while, but I just decided not to buy one just because. But, um, actually what happened was my grandpa and I went to Best Buy because, my, as you guys know, my MacBook charger, um, back in June shit the bed. So I had to go buy a new one. 80 fucking dollars, Apple. 80 dollars. But, um... I went and my grandpa was looking at my iPhone case because I had um, this one on my case. And he's like, that one doesn't look really sturdy. It looks like your phone's going to smash or whatever. And I was like, okay, let's get you, okay. And then he's like, oh, well, we'll get you a different one. And I was like, all right. So he picked this one out. He's like, you like pink, right? So he just picked this one out. And um, I guess he didn't realize the price because when we were at the register, he was like, $50 for a damn case. And I was like, yeah, well... It's your idea. And it's also got um, like a flap up here for the headphone and down here for when you want to charge it, which can get a little annoying, but I do love this case. And it has a little thing for the Apple um, and your camera. And the inside is white, and these are two separate pieces. I just like to keep them together just because. So that was my phone and iPod collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, again, if you like any of these cases, you can, like, go on Amazon or eBay and, you know, search in, um, you know, OtterBox or Hello Kitty or Zebra or whatever. And you could probably find these. Um, I don't know if you could find all of them, but, you know, it's worth a try. So, yeah. <laughs> I am, like I said, I am going to be purchasing another Hello Kitty one. It is not going to look like this. It's going to... I'll tweet a picture. You guys will see. But, um, if I haven't already. But I will show you guys. So, yeah. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys like this video. And thank you again to Insane Blondes 105 for requesting it. Keep sending me requests because I just never know what to do videos on. And I just kind of do whatever. So, yeah. I will see you in my next video. I love you all. Mwah!